Yo, boys. We are bloody back. I have a plan. I have a plan. Let me just jump in here real quick. 135 for that one. You know what? I'll get it. Crossbows are just going to be so much more, but that's a decent one for 200. All right, that'll do. This is how we're going to be testing the 2x headshot percent, because that should have a huge difference. Go back step. Yep. I'm actually going to use true shot. Yeah, true shot on this. Plus one all doublet. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, this one's better. Okay, it takes three headshots to kill a red mummy. Ooh, there's a ring on the floor. Um, there's two rings on the floor. I hear something. Bloody lizard man. That was not good. Oh, he had a nightmare skelly on him. <laughs> Plus one all attribute. Yeah, the boots are good. I needed those. Man was the ring bearer. I'm good to go. Look at these rings I've got, bro. Is there no ruby silver down here? Ooh, I kind of need that. I actually think this helmet will sell. I guess we can do this. All right, let's do it. Okie dokie, we carry on. This is actually a really nice set. Holy crap. Yep, that one's good. I'm a survival bow more than anything. This should help us take care of PDR, which we're going to need this raid because it is just warlock, I think. Barbarian, barbarian, fighter, fighter, fighter. Yep. 130 in the head with this, though. I have a question for... Anyone that plays Dark and Darker, especially more focused towards anyone that plays Dark and Darker solo, because I think solo players are feeling the problems a little bit harder, because this game wasn't really intended, it f or feels like it really wasn't intended for solo, more like trios and duos. I know it sounds like I complain a lot, boys. I just really, really don't understand some changes that the devs are doing. Like, plus two all been in the game for this long, and it feels like every death I have is either to my own fault, like to my own trap or something silly that I just shouldn't be doing anyway. Or I'm just getting completely outgeared. And I just want to ask you guys if you guys feel like that's the same way you're dying. Like whenever you die to plus all sets, it just feels like there's practically nothing you can do. And I just want to know if you guys are, are similar in that sense of just, you know what I mean? Do you guys want plus two all also removed or is it just me and my suckiness, I guess? Whoa. Because I also notice some. It might sound like I complain every single time. And it's half complaining and half just being so confused. Because if anyone's been here since the, you know what I mean, the last the last season even. It was just the last season. They added a bunch of plus all attribute stuff, but quickly removed it because of how broken it was. And if anyone remembers, I, I, I did a patch notes reading video, but when they were talking about last season, how they cranked up loot and it kind of made loot feel like it wasn't worth it after they did that, I thought they were going to go down a path of, okay, loot is now going to be, or really good loot is going to be really hard to get and everyone's going to be on a more level playing field for, for longer, but it did not turn out that way. We've just had plus two all stuff and it's just been a complete wash if you're not in that gear. 
I hope it doesn't come off as too much complaining, boys. I really love the game, and yeah, you know I mean, it's just I don't want to be stuck playing a game that I don't enjoy anymore. For those who remembered Cycle Frontier, right? I complained a lot because I also didn't want to watch that game die. I probably lost a lot of viewers and a lot of, you know, what I mean, loyal people because of how much I talked about the state of the game at the time. But genuinely, if more people did speak about how bad of a situation it was in, maybe it would still be alive to this day because. I don't know, people were just either coping or just not speaking about issues. And look how that game ended up, boys. It's just the one thing I don't want to happen to this game. And I don't even think it will, to be honest. The Iron Mace are just, they're too good. But at the same time, they just make decisions sometimes that I just, I get confused on. The thing is, boys, I play this game as well in duos and trios, right? I don't just play solos. And the amount of people that are wearing absolute bis with really weird names, like RMT names, like they're so obvious. Obvious. The people who are buying accounts and, and buying gear, it is quite easy to spot them. And I'm just getting people banned left, right, and center because, you know what I mean? It's just easy to spot. Big Xiao Biao Meow guy with like plus two all everything. And it's just like, I'm going to report you just in case because, you know what I mean? The way that I'm dying is sometimes even sus. But it, no, it's usually just they just have insane gear because that's what they do. They'll buy the account and just buy the gear. So then they can farm and then sell off that gear because once you're in a crazy gear set that's it you're, you're, you're chilling strength five armor in huh and i don't know guys like unless you've played the game for a while yourself it's going to be hard for you guys to feel what a cheater slash rmt feels like but if you've played long enough to be two tapped and then you report them just in case and xiao biao gets banned because you know what i mean they actually were you know what i mean buying the account and just buying items it's kind of hard to detect if there's more of them now but they're deaf for me it feels like there is probably not as much as the first season to be honest because the first season was all hype obviously with them just dropping the game out of nowhere and all the talk about the lawsuit i think season one was definitely worse to be honest i, I, I take that back i just think crazy op gear that is really easy to get causes more issues than, than none. They did say, however, they're going to add more things that will increase skill gap. I'm waiting for that, bro. But the last good thing that they, I'd say they added was the trade market, right? Like, since then, there's not been a lot of new stuff. Actually hit him, I think. <clears throat> I messed up. I tried to bait his hit too, too early. underneath i ain't getting stuck without a portal this time let me tell you that for a fact went over his shoulder I don't think I can jump on this, which is what's going to be fucking me the most. So this game only does this to me. <clears throat> I 
So what else can I do there, dude? I just get the absolute most trash portal spawn every time, bro. That was a really nice kit, too. I don't know what it is with me and final circles, bro. They just don't fucking gel well at all. <laughs> it is the most soul-crushing way to flip and die ever. At this point, I'm not even really that excited for Druid. I'm, I'm excited for him, but at the same time, it's like, it's just going to throw another broken character into the mix, and it's just going to take ages for them to balance that out. Let's be flipping real. And all the time we've had spent on balanced things and whatever, like, yeah, we've needed them, but at the same time, like, we've not had anything new in a while because of how long they've spent trying to balance what they've already got. I've got a stack in here. I'm just going to literally camp this flipping room is how you need to play in this goddamn goblin cave now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Wait. So weird, it gave me the exact same pendant. Ooh, spider silk. Everything happens for a reason, I guess. My way of coping with absolute heavy losses every single time to the storm. Goddamn, man. There's very few things that upset me as much. Dying in front of a portal because of an absolute two spawn is one of the worst. In other news, um, some games that I'm looking forward to. Beautiful light, looks good. Body cam, looks good. There's still no crazy FPS, there's still no insane FPS games out there that are like taking the extraction shooter world by storm. All right boys, the day we get a game remotely similar to the feelings I used to get playing Cycle Frontier will be the best day of my life. Looking back on Cycle though, it's like, there's a lot of things I could have done differently. I could have capitalized on a lot more things with Cycle. This spider did. And it won't happen again. Find another survival bow with the last of my funds. Like, if this doesn't tell you, like, they've literally got missions where you need to res people. So like, how does a solo complete that? I mean, it's not a big deal because the, the request rewards aren't is insane this time. Yeah, you can craft things and get better squire gear, but at the end of the day, it's not not a huge difference. So I guess it doesn't matter that much. <clears throat> it's just proving my point in the sense of like, this game was not made for solos and it's quite sad. The solo player base is feeling hurt right now, or I am anyway. All right, let's go. Let's not die to stupid stuff. Boys, I'm, it's so funny. I was playing with Minda last night and we came up against three bis, and I mean bis. Oh, I just got fucked up by a bar. You need to miss all that bar. Yeah, you should just sell it get your gear. Yeah. Yeah. I, I said, bro, it's Giga Gear. You want that to be fun, isn't it? Huh? What was his name? Post to all. Post to all. We report them, because obviously, why wouldn't we? It's just, it's so obvious. And guess what? Today they're banned. Like, it's funny how I was talking about this like, 20 minutes ago, and now <laughs> Mint has just sent me a DM being like, yo, remember those guys last night? And that's the thing, it can't it won't be just cheating, it'll be, you know what I mean, they've they've bought the they've bought something. Or bought the account slash bought gear too. But that's the thing, people don't even need cheats. It's like once you've got so like if you think about it, there's like insta kill cheats, there's wall hack cheats, there's a lot of things that you can do. There, there was even a cheat where you could like boot people offline, or like your game would crash if your VoIP was turned on. Like there's been some crazy things that you can do to gain advantage in games, right? And kill people. <laughs> now you don't need any of that you just need an account you need to spend a, a i don't know how much it is equivalent like, i don't know how much gear is actually worth real money value but you get on spend a couple bucks and you're in absolute crazy gear which which is completely legal you know what i'm saying you, you you're unkillable but the devs made it that way so it's fine but yeah your account will still get banned if you get caught buying the things and it's easy to i mean check that i guess if people are getting banned easily because they get banned quick bro we, we reported those guys last night playing late last night and they're banned today but the fact that people don't even really need cheats anymore is just kind of funny to me so the next time you guys are dying to Xiao Biao 49 because they're, you know what I mean, two tapping you in the head with a recurve from miles away. It might not just be because they're in insane gear, boys. Just throw them that report just in case. Would that sell? I don't know. I need money though, so I'm picking up anything I can. 
I've seen some interesting points being brought up too regarding like yeah I mean what people complain about and the state of the game like people used to complain just about the team comps of you know what I mean certain compositions that were just really overpowered and you couldn't do much against that which is fair like yeah that's true and you know what I mean now they'd say that all they see being complained about is things like gear and I just I don't know man I just think those are very different things to be complaining about and like they, they need to be obviously fixed at that time if you're coming up against it's just some meta comp that just steamrolls you whenever you try and do something remotely fun. Yeah, just switch it up a little bit. Because, you know what I mean? If, if you're not running absolute bis or running an absolute meta comp doing what is considered meta and losing every time, that's just, it's not the best experience. And and, I, and yeah, I understand, like, complaining about meta comps and, and gear. Like, pick a, pick a road, all right? Pick a road to travel down. But at the same time, dude, it's like... If those things are really making the game unfun to play at the time, then I think it's valid complaining about it, bro. And the whole meta comp thing isn't really a huge factor, obviously, in solo, because you're just playing against solo. Obviously, it's rock, paper, scissors. Like, if I come up against a barbarian, he's probably going to stomp me. But if the game was balanced properly and gear didn't matter as much, because obviously, it's an extraction shooter. Gear should matter. But if I'm coming up against a barbarian, that's already hard enough, right? But if I'm coming up against a barb with plus to all everything and max PDR, which I know is expensive, you know, I mean, you need to invest some time into to build in that but it, once you get a gist of the game it's really not that difficult but if i come up against a juice bob like that it's just so much harder to do anything but i don't know dude it's just such a hard topic to talk on without sounding like i'm just crying about the game 24 7. i'm gonna go sit in the storm i'm not looking for a goddamn ball ain't no way i'm out lead a quest survive in the dungeon boom Ooh, this is actually nice. Not as nice as that, but nice. All right, that was a good re-up on gold. Let's go again. But Jesus, man, you have to be some kind, some kind of scumbag, to be real with you. To be not only buying gear, but just running around fully best out, just destroying everybody. Like, if that's what you think is fun, which I guess it kind of is, but at the same time, screw anybody that does that, dude. You imagine buying an account just to buy gear and steamroll everybody on a game on. It's like the equivalent of buying a max level RuneScape account and just going around the game doing end game things. So like, where's the fun in grinding, dude? Where's the fun in losing some of your best kits to terrible portal spawns and going through that grief? That's fun, right? Why does Jiohao Miohao buy all this plus two all gear and just destroy me into two arrows? Not to sound a certain way, but genuinely, it just is those people, dude. We will watch the Chinese Mafia video. It exists. It's a problem. Oh, that's really good. Oh, they're really good. Wait, how did this guy die? Uh-uh. Oh, lad. I got a load, too. Mmm, yeah, I'd say that's better. Oh, that's unlucky. Wouldn't this really miss him though? Two all attributes, yes please. And just leave, yes please. Ooh, something sold. Spellbook. Sweet. I mean, I'm not mad about looting this room again. I would like some PvP. Some of the boys in the comments were like, add more PvP. But at the same time, it's like, <laughs> I can't really be, as a ranger, it's, it's hard to just go around stomping everybody. It's crazy how different playstyle to playstyle you need to play with the, the different classes that you choose and the season that you choose to play them too. Like, fighter last season was powerful. Fighter this season, especially with multi-class around the corner, that just looks scary. Imagine a barbarian screaming fighter with, like, PDR, Savage Raw. I still think we're gonna go Savage Raw Ranger, but I don't know, dude. Like, again, if someone has a build that they're going for with Ranger, let me know in the comments because that might sway complete oh like that might completely sway what uh what multi-class we go for i know i want something like, i'm thinking savage raw because i can use it from a distance i'm gonna be hitting people harder it's like i don't need to use savage raw and get close savage raw can be just used from a distance and just be pelting them with 
harder hit and arrows is my thinking but it's one of those ones where it's like i'm just i'm not 100 percent on it yet my barbarian is quite high level because that's the class that i've been playing on stream slash in a duo trio you know what i mean i'm gonna have one class where it's just definitely solo and, and i'm just still up for debate on which secondary one i'm gonna use on a good note i'm feeling really strong again yep that's what i'm needing right now I can already feel a difference in how fast I'm shooting, bro. Blocking the way I want to go. one what did he have plus one plus two yeah that ranger if you hit me was gonna be goddamn strong dude plus two plus two plus two wow warlocks be eating for free recently as good as this spear is i need money spellbook sold let's play one more actually need to remember i've got crippling shot on I might sell Magic Keelan. <clears throat> I think I'm hearing someone on my left. No way to backflip. escape dude go creep your ass back to the lobby homie yeah, everything else kind of mid see how slow he was after that the windless hit dude <laughs> all right let's go i think we might actually be able to get like 500 for that spell book yeah i actually think we can say 300 for this Alright, how much does magic healing go for? Magic healing kind of looks cheap. Alright, we kind of turned this day around a little bit. I was feeling hurt earlier. We came back. This is probably one of my favorite combos so far that I found. A windless survival bow. If you made it this far, comment the word pain. Because that is what I'd be feeling 90% of the time. Like, a lot of you guys really like the dark and darker content as much as I might complain. And you still watch it all the way through. I'm just passionate, boys. Okay, I'm passionate. Thank you for joining me, boys. And we will catch you in the next episode. Peace.